time, it's go time. You got one shot at a gold mine. It's show time, it's your time. Yo, yo. It's game time, it's go time. Go, go. You got one shot at a gold mine. I think going into the season, we had hopes that we had taken tremendous strides and we were going to be able to go out and compete. And I think through four games, I think we probably feel a little bit more confident now that we have the ability to go out and dictate football games. Uh, but that requires us playing the game the way we're capable of playing it consistently over four quarters. And I think that, as we move into conference play, is going to be the big challenge is can we continue to execute at the high level, but do it, play it, and play out for four quarters. On a picture perfect night in Durham, North Carolina, we're set for a new era of Duke football under the lights as Mike Elko gets underway his first season at the helm of this Blue Double football program. Don't, don't look away, send a display, all eyes on me. New era, and for a fourth consecutive year, a new quarterback as well. Riley Leonard comes in as a sophomore out of Fairhope, Alabama. We are not last year. We're not the year before that. We are our own group. The energy is palpable around this program right now. It's time to play football as Mike Elko and the Blue Devils get set to take the field for the first time. Out there tonight, you bring fire, you bring passion, you bring energy, you bring physicality. You win a rep, you stand up, you get after him again. And you don't stop. You don't stop. Rolls to the right, plenty of time looking downfield, lost it for more, steps inside at the 30, 20, 15, cuts right, and he dives down to the one yard line. Tosses to the right, Coleman stretches it into the end zone, standing up for the opening touchdown. Exactly how you want to start under the Mike Elko era. And an inside handoff and nothing doing for Sadie. Into the pile, he'll lose two yards back to midfield. Keep it on the ground again. And this time it's gonna be dropped for a loss. Back inside the 10, Dwayne Carter gets him down at the eight. And down the left sideline, he's got Calhoun high step in his way, out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Steps up in the pocket, underneath it's caught, and into the end zone for the touchdown goes Jordan Moore. He was looking for more. <laughs> Somebody let me up. Play oh! fake the throw, he's in trouble, and he is sacked. Back at the 15-yard line, Franklin hit him first, and Carter finished him off. Goodness, this offense looks like the real deal right now. Gonna throw again, this time down the right sideline, got his man again, in stride, Hagan, touchdown! What a strike! 39 yards, and it's 23 to nothing. Trying to get to the outside, the ball's out, Dylan lowered the boom, and the Blue Devils have the football. They got Temple sitting on a bagel through three quarters. Handoff running left, and it's dropped in the backfield. And out of there with it for the Blue Devils was Jamion Franklin, who recovered the fumble, trying to find his man over the middle, and it was Johnson who knocked it loose. Look at the way they're flying around and not shying away from contact at all, being the tougher team. First shutout since 2015. First shutout against an FBS opponent since they knocked off North Carolina 41 to nothing back in 1989. What a statement in the opener. Dominant right from the opening kickoff. And the Blue Devils roll past Temple 30 to nothing as the Elko era is underway in a big way. No question, who gets the game ball? Head coach Mike Elko, first win. Here's first of many. Yeah, coach!
obviously against Temple, we started really fast. And I think as the year has gone on, uh, that Temple defense has proven to be pretty good. I think they've done a really good job of stopping people since that game. And so I think the start we got off to and how well we executed early on. And then obviously defensively, I thought we played really well that night against Temple. You get through training camp and your guys are tired of banging against each other and you get another opponent out there and you get a chance to go play someone else. It's always a lot of fun. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade and our commitment to fuel tomorrow. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. With Zero Sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. I need to try it first. Yeah. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series. America's best-selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Try it first. Yeah. On the shores of Lake Michigan, we welcome you to Evanston, Illinois, where today the Blue Devils are on the road to take on the Wildcats out of the Big Ten. Looking forward to this one as Duke looks to go to 2-0 on the season, on the road for the first time under Mike Elko. Everybody around this program, the fan base, is super excited to see what this looks like against a power five opponent. This one's real simple. They don't think you're physical enough. The experts don't think you're physical enough. The people around the country don't think you're physical enough to win this football game. If we look up at the end of the game and we lose the because he wasn't physical enough. Yeah. They tested our manhood. Yeah. We don't lock down, we're gonna punch him in the face. Yeah. Every play. Yeah. And yeah. those who will on these guys, yeah. they will break. Yeah. Hey, physicality on three. Physicality on me. One, two, three. Physicality. You set the bar here, and you make them match you all day. So they don't want you no more. So they don't want a piece of it no more. You got to bring it to them from the first whistle to the end of the game. Physical, physical, physical. It outside right, brought down from behind, and it's Aeneas Peebles who made the play. All day to throw over the middle, got it complete. Calhoun across the 45, and the Blue Devils have come out swinging. It's Coleman straight ahead, huge hole inside the 10, the 5, into the end zone, touchdown! Wow! Coleman right up the gut, and the Blue Devils strike first. Bobble the snap, they gave it to Hall, and they're going down for a loss. Anthony got him first. Keep it on the ground, running left. Huge hole, Waters inside the 30. Runs through a couple arm tackles, and now he's gone! 10-5, touchdown! Coleman's got one, Waters got one, and it's 13 to nothing. 
Toss to the right. Porter trying to stretch it out. He's in trouble. He's going down. Back at the 25-yard line. Hayward made the play. Looking down the right sideline, and he's got it complete. Stepping out of a tackle and Panko all the way down to the Northwestern six-yard line. Inside handoff for Waters. Now stretches. He's in. Wow, what a physical presence. Jacob Monk loves it. The big guys carry him in, and it's 20 to nothing. The Blue Devils have come on the road and started this thing with a bang. Helinski immediately looks that way, fires in the flat, holds wide open, 35-30. Down the left sideline, 20-15, stays on his feet, and he'll take it all the way for the Northwestern touchdown. The Wildcats are an extra point away from being back with it four with 150 to go here in the third quarter. Just when you start to talk about the offense and their struggle, the Duke defense is starting to give up points. A total shift, you can feel that energy as the fans are getting into it for the first time in the game. They think, oh, Franklin sacks him! He just swallowed him whole. Quick throw to the left, Calhoun bobbled it, dropped it. Good coverage on the outside, in some trouble. Hit from behind, the ball's out. It's loose at the 45, and the Blue Devils have it. Nelson jumps on it. Carter with the strip sack. Here's the snap on third and goal. To the end zone, it is caught! Jordan Moore, a toe tap for the touchdown! Looking to the left, the running back fell down, and it's to the sideline, intercepted, and the Blue Devils take over at the 34. Brandon Johnson made the play. What a play by Brandon Johnson. And the kick is good. It's 31 to 23 now. Northwestern, though, does have a chance. A touchdown, a two-point conversion would tie it. They do not have any timeouts with 1.18 to go. Alinsky over the middle, has it complete for Hull. He's got a first down across the 40, trying to get out of bounds, and he will at the 48-yard line. He's got time. Dangerous pass, and it's caught. Northwestern has reached the 21. Alinsky ready, here's the snap. The gives a hole. They run straight ahead, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. The ball came out, and Johnson's got it. He fumbled it, and the Blue Devils have it. 12 seconds to go, the Blue Devils sideline explodes. I am Let's go. It ain't over until it's over. They said we ain't fiscal. Look at the score. Look at the score. Blue Devils lead Evanston with a thrilling 31 to 23 win. A little something of everything here today. The offense was clicking in the first half. The defense forcing turnovers in the second half. One to savor for sure. A win over a Big Ten opponent on the road. I can't tell you how proud I am of the fight of this team. Okay, for us to come on the road, we talked about fighting. Right? We were going to fight for 60 minutes, and it took 60 minutes and six inches. Right, and we got away. We found a way to get it done, man. Yeah. Congratulations. So proud of you guys. Give yourselves one more round of applause. Yeah! I think against Northwestern, it was the first time in a long time against the Power 5 team that we won the turnover battle. And the way that impacted the game, obviously, with the last play of the game being a turnover to win it, uh, I think that really drove that message home to our program. And then I thought physically, we played really well. I think we went up to Big Ten country and then played physically, uh, running the football and stopping the run as well as we have in a while. For us to be the program that we want to be, we got to get back to controlling the line of scrimmage the way we used to when we were playing in the ACC championship game, and that was obviously a step in the right direction. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going, keep dancing, keep celebrating and reuniting. It's never too late. Because everybody is a Therabody. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series. America's best-selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. 
before truck month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. After back-to-back -back wins over Temple and Northwestern, Mike Elko is the first Duke coach to win his first two games at the helm of the program since Fred Goldsmith did it back in 1994. Trying to make it three in a row here tonight as the Blue Devils face the Aggies of North Carolina A&T. This is Warriors World. The greatest opponent is football. Perfect that, to lower the standard. I want to, want to. Employee appreciation night. Students are expected to turn out and force the buzz. We've been talking about this program. Feels like it's building within the community now. Yeah. Leonard to throw, no problem. Down the middle, down Mullen. He'll get 15, he'll get it all. Touchdown, 38 yards in 15 seconds into the game. The Blue Devils are dancing in the end zone. Leonard to throw, they bring pressure, doesn't get there. Over the middle, it's caught. Dive! Touchdown! Their own 41, here's the snap. Play fake, wants to throw, hit from behind, and fumbled it! It's scooped up! Headed the other way, it's Dwayne Carter for the touchdown! A scoop and score! And it's 20 to nothing! Whoa, stand strong with my troops. Good start. Good first half. Can we stay focused? Can we stay locked in? Right, so full 60. That's the challenge. The challenge that was set out tonight is can you play full 60? Right, we got 30 more. We're right where we want to be. We got to tighten down. We got to finish. Fowler to throw in some trouble. He's sacked and he fumbled it. And the Blue Devil pounce. Johnson and Peebles on the sack. He can run it himself across midfield and now he's loose. Nothing but green grass in front of him. Headed to that blue end zone for a touchdown. Riley Leonard, a 56 yard rip. Third and two, no pin and pull here. Straight ahead, Coleman inside the five. Spinning into the end zone for the touchdown. 15-10, Weatherly goes outside and takes it in for the touchdown. Eric Weatherly with his first score, and it's 48 to 13. Oh, what a run by Weatherly. This is Warriors World. Very impressive night. 49 to 20 will be the final score as Mike Elko jogs across for a handshake with Sam Washington. And the Blue Devils steamroll their way to a 3 0 start to the season. Right, make some noise. Let's go. Against a and I was just proud that we held to our standard. I think anytime you go out there and you feel like you're the better team going into the game, the biggest thing you want your kids to do is, is respect the game and respect the opponent and go out and play the game at our level and our standard. And I think we were able to do that uh, from start to finish pretty much against a and the trade-off of handling the game the way you want to is is when you get into the later parts of the third quarter and certainly into the fourth, you're able to really give guys a lot of opportunities, and that builds depth, uh, that builds confidence in your roster. It gives young guys a chance to get out there and get some game action for the first time, and so that's great for the whole organization. Send no blitz. Send no blitz. when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep, tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah, road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires.
There's a reason every Odyssey is named after the Odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Duke Football 360 with Dave Hardy. Presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. We're under three minutes to go. Leonard going to take a shot down the right sideline. It is caught! It's Jalen Calhoun for the touchdown! Four games into the season, the Blue Devils have three receivers with ten receptions or more. That's Jordan Moore, Eli Pankle, and Jalen Calhoun. Against Kansas, all three of those players had a massive impact in the game. Today, we're going to look at a few of those plays. This is early in the game, the second drive of the game. The Blue Devils down 7 nothing. They need to find a way to respond to Kansas' early score. And you're going to see Riley Leonard, first of all, the quarterback for the Blue Devils, line up in the pocket and stand in the face of pressure and deliver a rocket of a football down the field. Look at the, the pocket start to collapse around him. It doesn't phase him. He's really not able to step into his throw, and he launches this ball just about 50 yards down the field to find Eli Pankel, who is running a go route right off the line of scrimmage, passes up his defender, and works through contact initially, eyes toward the football that's in the direction of the sun. That doesn't phase him whatsoever and comes down with a 49-yard grab to set the Blue Devils up beautifully for a touchdown run a little while later, helping to answer when you need it most. But the chemistry between the receivers and their quarterback, Riley Leonard, Leonard throws has thrown 17 passes of 20 yards or more so far during this season. But this play, a great example of that chemistry, the timing. Eli Pankle earlier in the game had kind of run a curl route and squatted on this right at around 12 yards. This defender kind of expecting it, does a little stutter move instead, setting him up, runs past him, and the hands, the focus to bring that ball down inside the 10 yard line. A really big deal. Eli Pankle showing up. This a little later in the game, fourth quarter. Blue Devils really need to come up with some points. 13 to 28. This is a third down situation. Who do they go to? Jordan Moore, probably a pretty good idea. Here's Jalen Calhoun and Jordan Moore lined up on the bottom of your screen. You're going to see Calhoun run his defender deep. That clears out a pretty large portion in this area of the field for newly minted wide receiver. I mean, he just started playing this position, Jordan Moore, to work. Take a look. At the snap of the football, he runs a little out route, gets physical with his defender, boxes him out, works through that contact, and gets up the field for a big play. This doesn't just happen by chance, though. Good protection up front. Take a look at the running back. Meet a blitzing linebacker in the hole, buys Riley Leonard time, and speaking of Riley Leonard, watch when he starts his throwing motion. He just began throwing the football. Jordan Moore hasn't even turned his head around. That's the chemistry. Throwing the ball, trusting the receiver is going to be in the loca location that he's supposed to be. Ball is out now. He fights through that contact, gets it. And then what's so fun about Jordan Moore is what he's able to do once he catches the ball. Look at him out in the open field. This is a third down and five. You just need five yards. He's taken a lot more. You don't think his wide receiver teammate, Jalen Calhoun down here, doesn't love to work a little bit more to get some space for him to work? Look at that. Turns into a blocker. Sees his teammate catch the football, blocking downfield, trying to create a little more space for Jordan Moore to operate. This is the same drive, a little bit later. Remember, that play helps keep them on the field. What do they do? They go to Jalen Calhoun for his first touchdown of the season. Take a look, top of the 
screen here. Just got a corner playing off. You think, oh, I can't get behind him because he's playing a little conservatively in a late game situation. That's not the case for Jalen Calhoun. Speed, working to the back of the end zone, and then showing a little ups, climbing the ladder, contested football, up in the air, going up one-on-one, -on -one, not a ton of separation, able to bring it down. How about Riley Leonard, too? A perfect pass. You're seeing this chemistry really start to develop between the quarterback and Leonard and the rest of his, especially starting wide receiver crew, other guys starting to fill in. Big plays in the passing game coming from chemistry, a lot of great effort and focus and determination. I mean, obviously for the positive, I'm proud of the fight. You know, we put ourselves in position with things not going our way most of the day to have a drive at the end of the game to go down and tie it up. And you know, I think the thing we've got to learn from it is, is we went on the road into a fairly hostile environment and, you know, our execution wasn't to the standard we would like it to be, uh, specifically on defense. And so we've just got to do a better job of executing our plan and staying true to our fundamentals. Uh, and hopefully that's a big learning curve for our guys. Great job! Great job! Great job! Great job! Great job. Great job. Great job. Great I think certainly on offense, you've got to be really happy with the way Riley Leonard is playing. I mean, I think he's gotten off to a four-game start that's been really impressive, and so we want to continue to see him develop and improve week in and week out, and obviously see that carry over into ACC play. I think we've gotten some big plays out of our wide receiver group, and I think each one has had their, their turn. You know, we've seen them from five different guys, and, and the depth we have at wide receiver has been really good. And then I think the offensive line, we just want to continue to be consistent and, and find ways to block consistently throughout the whole game. Um, you know, defensively, I love the way we're playing from an effort standpoint. I think we're playing extremely hard. I think we're doing a really good job of creating turnovers, and that's something that we've really harped and preached. Uh, we just got to get a little bit more comfortable with the execution of the scheme, and the scheme's very new to these guys. And so, you know, they've gotten four games under their belt now, and now we've got to start seeing some major jumps in terms of how we're executing. Certainly our personalities, we play extremely hard. I think we bring a lot of passion to the game. I think people see the energy that we're playing with. Uh, we certainly are willing to fight from, from start to finish every time the ball goes down. I think that's something that we're very proud of as a program, and, and I think you're starting to see that. And I think the leadership is starting to set standards in this program of how important football needs to be here at Duke, and we're starting to live up to them.